Hey guys, so this is the much requested button necklace tutorial first seen in this video and it was inspired by some necklaces that I found on Etsy and I wanted to try my hand at making my own and so let's get right into the tutorial. The supplies you need are assorted coordinating buttons, needle nose pliers, 22 to 26 gauge wire, chain, jump rings, a clasp, and two beads. Try some different button arrangements until you decide on one you like. Take a photo with your camera or phone so you have a reference when this happens. Cut three to five feet of wire. Start by bending one end into a loop. Wrap the wire below the loop a few times. String one bead onto the wire, then add your first button. Bring the wire through the button a second time to secure. Keep adding buttons and linking them together. You'll want to go back and forth through various buttons. This will make your necklace more sturdy. I'll show a photo of the back of the necklace at the end of the video so it's more easy to understand. When you reach the other end, add your second bead and form a loop. Wrap the wire under the loop like before. Take the wire back through the bead. The first half of my necklace wasn't as sturdy as I wanted it to be, so I went back through those buttons. Cut the wire and tuck in the end. Open a jump ring and attach the chain to one loop and the clasp to the other. And then you're done! And I really love how both my necklaces turned out. Here are some great variations on this tutorial that were made by one of my subscribers. They are available in her Etsy store, Opal's Jewelry. Don't forget to add Whitney Sews on Facebook and Twitter and submit your picks for the viewer showcase by the 25th. And I will have a new video up next week. Bye!